Hi, welcome back to the High Heels and Tea podcast. I'm Crystal Lee. This is Rianda. And we are back. Back. <laughs> We've been gone for uh, six months yeah. now, but yeah. for a good reason, okay? What have you been doing during this hiatus? Tell them what's the good reason. Ah, the good reason is because we busy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Those are the bloopers. <laughs> bloopers. Um, right. But just life. In general, just working. Yeah. You know, yeah, I know last season I got a promotion. <laughs> so uh just building, growing, um, growing all brands. Yes. Um, yes. working on new endeavors. Yeah. Um, partnering and collaborating on other situations other than the podcast. Yep. Um, so tell us what you've been doing, Crystal. I actually kinda same. Um, uh, definitely super busy. Um, definitely growing brands and we definitely have this real, real dope new collaboration that we're about to do, um, well, that we're doing and it kicks off on April the 2nd in New York City. Mm -hmm. Um, also April the 2nd will be in Philly and what we're doing is collaborating with our workshop and her shoe retail business. To bring you like the ultimate high heel class experience, okay? So that's what be dope. I'm gonna make sure to uh, leave in the comments or in the caption more information about that, okay? But all right, let's get into the topic. Okay, I'm ready. All right. So you said <laughs> you've been getting a bunch of inboxes. I have on this specific topic. I have. And the topic is, I don't need a man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or why, when why, women say, uh, I don't need a man. Yeah, why Why do women feel, or why, when we say we don't need a man, what do we really mean by that? That's a good question. Actually, what I would say is this, just kicking it off, like, that particular statement can be interpreted in so many different mm -hmm. ways, right? I agree. So it's just not solely about the existence or the presence of a man that you don't need. It could come with a lot. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. women say, I don't need a man. Um, you know, as a cope mechanism yeah. after being hurt in a relationship. Sometimes women say, I don't need a man because they just on a feminist, you know, I'm pro woman. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes they say, I don't need a man just because they trying to, you know, get together their own self growth and have I their own self. self. Yeah. Get themselves together. So it's not necessarily an indefinite decision or statement. It could be just for the moment. I don't need a man until... I get this done or get that done. Yeah. What is, what is your definition? Or do you of need that? them for something? <laughs> <laughs> what what do you what do you think about that? Like when you hear or you um, know a woman say, "I don't." I need totally them. agree with you. It's a different. It's different levels to it. It, mm -hmm. it depends on a situation, like you said. It depends on women. I think um, we become so independent in our own selves that we feel like, okay, we don't need this man for finances. Okay, mm -hmm. we can take care mm -hmm. of our, ourselves. We're independent. We know what we're doing, and we get used to being by ourselves too. Especially when you get used to taking care of yourself and doing everything for yourself. It's like one That's thing true. that I learned too that sometimes men don't understand that. Like sometimes when you are a woman and you have everything as far mm -hmm. as like finances or your security within yourself, they don't know how to interact or interpret you mm -hmm. because what you're really needing is an aid. You're needing someone to aid in your life mm -hmm. that you can benefit from, not actually create a situation. Right. But that's why we, we get into, that's why sometimes women get into relationships that don't last yeah. because we still have those mindsets of, okay, like what is he here for? Like if he ain't doing what I'm doing for myself, why is he here? Like, what's going on? So, it's, you know. You, I think you got a good point with that. I don't want to ask you a question to that because that was on the top of my head, too. Like, do you think it's a such thing as, like, just getting too comfortable with not being a man that you become kind of mm -hmm. selfish in that decision? You get used to being by yourself. And then some, a lot of, I heard all the time women saying, like, I don't want to share my space. Like, as soon as they Ooh. talking about moving in, I'm like, oh, no, nah, no, nope, yeah. that's not going to happen. Cohabitating with anybody yeah. is, is challenging. Relationships in general, and especially, like, in our age because of, like, how we've kind of already created these dynamics for ourselves. We mm -hmm. have our own families. We're mm -hmm. doing things. We're already in tune. We have our own homes, things like that. So yeah. if I get to dating someone, hey, I'm going to want and expect them to have at least the equality of what I have. Right. So we got two houses. So we get serious. Like what we have to make all these decisions and choices when it comes mm -hmm. to 
just being with somebody, especially when you have things figured out on your on your own. Right. Um, but yeah, I think it's all of those different things. You get comfortable. Yeah. You're like, girl, no, he could come. He could come visit. <laughs> That's it. You can't come move in. Nah. And then if you're here for two more than two days, he's got to go. Yeah. He got like, girl, he got a drug. Girl. But do you think it's do you think it's about like having okay? So also in this topic, right? I was like, well. Women want a good man, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And the role of being a good man can be defined, obviously, based on the woman. It's not about, you know, being... I don't want to say it's not about being the provider or protector or things like that, because those are still important. But, like, back in the more traditional days, you know, old days, men played a certain role mm-hmm. to fulfill They you know, were the providers, of course, they protected you. If you wanted to have a baby, you need a man to do that. Mm-hmm. But now it, it can get fulfilled in a different way. Yeah. So you don't need a man, even as a woman, to have a baby. Like, no. you know, so. In vitro is available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's just kind of weird now just thinking about it all. Um, I think that plays a big, big, big role now with like do you really need a man or not need a man and it's not about needing a man it's about having a good man it's about having a companion yeah it's about having somebody that you can benefit and actually feel secure with yeah it's about you know having somebody to come into your life that like i just said aid and benefit yeah. not somebody just just there like yeah i don't need you to be here like what you doing like i need somebody that okay if i'm working a nine to five every day and you're expecting me to be cooking or mm-hmm. cook when i come home cleaning hey, and cooking make sure hey make sure the food is out or unthawed or the meat is unthawed it's a team you, play yeah, it's a team it's, it's a, a partnership compa- it's a partnership it's companion <laughs> and a lot of people don't know how to be partners yeah. and that's the problem and that's where when you get a woman that is kind of self-defined within themselves yeah and then you find somebody that don't know how to be a partner you're like like what? <laughs> what am I doing here? What well, I need you for? Exactly. Why are you here? Like yeah. what's going on? Like, you make a good point. I mean, mm-hmm. and then you, and then you get to that point, you know, where it's just that thing that you only need from that person. It's just one thing. Well, now you got the roles, and you got other, other key players now. The roles ain't all gone. It ain't gone. <laughs> it, ain't it, ain't it. it ain't replacing. It ain't replacing the whole situation. No. Oh my goodness. You need that. It, it, it gets you over the edge. It helps you get to the next goal level. But, but it ain't replacing nah, nothing. Uh, nah. All right. So speaking of like the woman that speaks on not needing a man as a coping mechanism or whatever, you know, due to mm-hmm. heartbreaks and things like that. Have you ever been in that type of situation? Or have that ever been your perspective for <laughs> that statement? I would say uh, not necessarily not needing a man, mm-hmm. but not wanting to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I would say that I was at a point where I was heartbroken, like my little first heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was at that point, like I was on some fuck niggas get money type shit. I didn't care like mm-hmm. this. I didn't care about any types of situations that I had going on. I didn't want to have you no know, in-depth situations with mm-hmm. any men. So it was just like, okay, I was just dating. I was just, you know, basically using people for what they were there and available for. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, whether it be, he takes me to go get food every day. Got the food bag. He likes to take me to the mall. <laughs> Shopping bag. He likes to go to the movies. <laughs> Theater, <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's good. He's good at cuddling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just Cuddle bring them all together. Exactly. You bring them all together and make it a, one big bag. I was gonna say you had a, a, a build the bird type of situation, and a lot of women definitely uh-huh. do that. A build the bird situation to kind of create the ultimate, yeah. I guess, experience with dealing with. It's bear. so funny. I seen a post on Facebook the other day. This girl said, "When you single, how many men are you allowed to date?" Allowed. Allowed. I say all of them. <laughs> she's like, you know, you know. to do what you want exactly. to do. Exactly, but you know, she was saying, is it like a cap? She's like, is it like two or three, six or seven? And I'm just like, no, dating is experiencing, yeah. finding out who yep. who you, you know, float with, who mm-hmm. you correspond with, who your energy coincides cor- with. We kind of like just was talking about that too. Like, y'all see that, we be making words up, so yeah. don't, don't be all don't, like, wait a minute. Don't that, quote us. That ain't no word. <laughs> that ain't no word. Don't transcript this. <laughs> 
like that's something we was kind of talking about too um to kind of branch off into that like the importance of just dating um a lot of women specifically now that we're in our 30s a lot of women i know like we've been in these long-term situations mm -hmm. for so long that I don't want to say you kind of get used to solely on only knowing this, but really it kind of takes away from your life experience. Like you really are not as experienced in dating yeah, and understanding not. a man and all those it's things. A you know, culture. This one, it's a new era. Oh of my dating. god, it's crazy. I don't yeah. know about that. And then these guys. I'm they, going and then the women that saying. are single. Yeah, the women that are <laughs> single basically has created this dynamic for all of the us. The women that actually want somebody that has substance mm -hmm. and a character, and they just thinking everybody just fucking for forty dollars, mm -hmm. and not nobody don't mind with forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think both of the dynamics are changed too because into that into that 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 statement, right? I don't need a man, right? And then you kind of have a man for what he's capable mm -hmm. of or what he's good for, right? Men also, I think. Mm -hmm. got used to the standards of women like yeah. okay she only want me for this reason or that reason and so yeah is at a point now where the whole dating scene is definitely diluted with all these mm -hmm. you know so convoluted it's just it's just weird it's just weird so i think both genders actually play a role in it like it's very rare you're going to meet someone that is like okay on what you want on the mm -hmm. same wave as you and not trying to you know make it your situation or your interaction with them about how every other woman would typically do so mm -hmm. compare and contrast yeah i think it's the same let me see i think i got some more questions for you i had to bring she out some questions. stuff yes yes um now this is a good one. Oh my god because i think it's like a problem when it comes to this question a lot of women should understand that it's okay if you don't need a man mm -hmm. and it's okay at the same time if you want a man yeah. right because speaking of the way things are nowadays i think a lot of people get shame for wanting to have that that companionship or that, that love that, you know what i'm saying dynamic exactly and so how do you feel about women that feel that they need a man I, th I think that goes both ways. There's a lot okay. of people that, for example, what you just said, mm -hmm. we're used to being in relationships. Mm -hmm. People are used to having a companion. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know how to be by themselves. Mm -hmm. And so when you're used to doing those things, you tend to not take time for yourself to learn and to mm -hmm. uh, find out who you are, but consistently jump into situations mm -hmm. because you're afraid to actually be by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? a lot of people in general that are like that. You and I like they yeah, they need to be in relationships, and one of those reasons are because they don't, they haven't found the love that they need for themselves. Mm. So if they're not secure with themselves, and they're, they're not, they're not able to make themselves happy. And mm -hmm. like for example, uh, I was uh, up at the store the other day, and mm -hmm. uh, I was like, I'm gonna go to Red Lobster. I'm about to go get me some food. They're like, you going by yourself? I'm like, girl, yeah. I always go eat by mm -hmm. myself. And it's like, girl, don't that make you feel funny? You be sitting there looking all lonely and shit. I'm like, bitch, I'm here to eat. I'm not here. <laughs> one picture that went viral. It was a girl. She went to like Miami mm -hmm. by herself. And she was like, in so many words, you know, people wait for other people to take trips and have these mm -hmm. type of life experiences. And she was like, do it by yourself. And I was like, yeah. But then everybody was sharing. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to start doing it. And I was like, what yeah that's, a lot of people don't a lot of people, a lot of people can't even go and sit and have a meal by themselves yeah a lot of people yeah. don't have enough gall or love for themselves to enjoy their own company yeah and that's really what it's about and that's why they're seeking that from somebody yeah, else that so that's why they're looking for relationships and wanting to be in relationships yeah. because what they should already have inside of them is not available so oh this is a good one right here so y'all know I always kind of like prepare a list of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. So I got my little notes that I'm going to be referencing from time to time. But what role, with the woman you are, who you are, mm -hmm. what role can a man play or should play in your life? Uh, Well, the role that I feel like a man should play in my life would be a beneficial role to me. Um, I'm pretty, I, I need a partner. I need mm -hmm. somebody that aids in my day to day that makes my life a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Somebody that, hey, if I get the boys ready, 
you take them to school. Mm -hmm. Or somebody that, hey, if, like I said, the food dynamic, you know, we want it, we got to eat, we got we got a family, mm -hmm. you know, make things easier for your day. You know, if you're off, if you're off work and your partner is at work, oh, babe, what you eat for lunch today? You, you think... You want me to stop by and grab you some lunch? Mm -hmm. um, just little small things that you don't, you know what I'm saying, think that you need. Mm -hmm. Those, you know what I'm saying, just the just the, the thoughtful things, you know. Just, yeah. uh, just the things that you like, okay, I know she's had her, like, you come home every day from work and you're having a bad day and it's been a, a rough week. Hey, at the end of the week, you make you do something thoughtful to make her mm -hmm. recognize that you're considering what's going on and right, you see right. her. Just those little small tidbits. Like yeah. I'm I'm not looking for anybody to do to I, I would love for me to stop having to go to work and somebody take care of me. But at the same time I wouldn't <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I would always do something because that's yeah, just the person that I am. I, but that's what I'm saying. I do want that. I would like for somebody to spoil me mm -hmm. and to step up and to say, baby, you don't got to do as much as you've been doing. Mm -hmm. I, I I want somebody to grab my hand and hold my hand and bring me along the way. The love connection. Yes. The Is love. that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Are you next? <laughs> On the hype the love podcast. connection. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's, that's dope. That's what I need. I need a I need somebody to hold my hand. I think something that you just said that mm -hmm. is, I don't even know I don't think I've heard anyone having that type of dynamics. Like, cause all you hear is like, for instance, if if you ain't cook, what you cook? What you cooking? What you cook? What you cooking? Well, you know how dope it would be if, like, you took out the food or whatever it is while I was at work. Exactly. So then when I you go You know to, what I'm cooking. Yeah, then when I come home. Because you cook it out. Hey, babe, <laughs> you know, when you get ready, I already thought out the ground beef and, you know. I know how good I that made, make us feel. I already got, like, the taco <laughs> shit. I, I, I took her a day. When you get ready, I can't wait for you to make them tacos. You look like Exactly. I never even heard of it. But that's what I'm saying. It makes life easier for everybody. Does. Not only for you, but for that person as well. Yeah. Because then you ain't got to hurt it. You ain't got to hurt, well, she, you ain't taking nothing out. What the fuck you mean what I'm cooking? Well, you been hurt all goddamn day and you ain't took nothing out. Yeah. So it's, it, it what alleviates, you cooking? Exactly. It alleviates a lot of stress <laughs> yeah. with relationships because yeah. it's thoughtfulness. Yeah. It's, it's making yourself aware of, hey, it ain't just her. It ain't just me. It's yeah. us. Right. It's a team. All right, that's a good thing. I think um, I'm kind of super similar to you with that, uh, as for what role can a man play. Uh, just definitely looking for that partnership in a man. You know, um, being that I'm the type of woman, I do a lot. Mm -hmm. I have a lot going on. Um, but I've gotten super good with, like, time management and balance and all those different things. And sometimes I think as women, we do kind of lean to – doing other things outside of those relationships mm -hmm. or whatever because it's security and it's safety in doing your business or supporting this mm -hmm. event or whatever it is so if you can find that within your relationship you probably would be a little bit more interested yeah. in it so my biggest thing is in that partnership having that security of support mm -hmm. um having a security obviously of intimacy um, open mindedness uh, definitely and obvious the basic communication um mm -hmm. i have to communicate a lot because i do a lot so you be like okay she off for the weekends i'm not i'm really not <laughs> I, I, gotta know. I gotta hold another job right now actually you know probably the third week of march i'll be off that weekend you know what i'm saying so um really just try to get in where you fit in to support me through my times mm -hmm. and obviously you get it back Vice of course yeah. matching energies is matching. what i should have said well, matching, the same way yeah it's like the things that i put into you i expect for you to take them and be like okay she yeah. don't do that for me i'm i want to make sure that i i go above and beyond for her yeah. as well not tick for tack but yeah matching, matching. yeah don't, genuineness doing things because you want to to do things mm -hmm. for an individual, not because you're comparing and contrasting mm -hmm. what somebody else did for you, but because yeah. you genuinely care That's that what much. That's you really care. You exactly. want to see them successful. Exactly. You want to see, see them, them happy. Smile. Have a good day. All of that. All right. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know if I got any more notes to this topic. Let me just double check before we end this or whatever. Uh, yeah. I think I, yeah, I'm pretty good to go with this. Look, yeah, I really got my notes. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, in in summary, in closing, I don't think no one is like anti man when they say I don't need a man. No, I don't think that's what they're okay. saying. I think it just depends on the situations that they mm -hmm. have going on. Also, um, it's self awareness as well. You know, you know what you need and what you don't. Yeah. And you shouldn't stop or settle until you know you got what you need and yeah yeah it's no nest it's no need for those holding spaces i don't need a man but i want to go in yeah. <laughs> thank y'all for watching this episode of the high heels and tea podcast until next time see ya <laughs>